What's going on everybody, this is always back with the next video on Java unit testing using JUnit. So in the last few videos I've shown you how to run your unit test with Eclipse and NetBeans. So in this video I'm going to show you how to run your test using IntelliJ IDEA which is another very popular platform for Java development. So let's create a new project. I'm going to click on create new project. Let's select Java and then make sure you select your SDK next click on next now here create project from template uh, what it will do it will create a default uh, class with the main method in it and then you can run that but I don't want to do that because I want to create my own class and run the test for that class so let's leave that unchecked click on next let's name our project so unit testing let's click on finish and IntelliJ IDEA will create a project for us so in the project browser, if you go and expand that, you see yours have a source folder there and uh, no classes at all. Now I'm going to right click on my project and then create a new directory. I'm going to name this as test. Now we have another directory. I'm going to mark this as a test source. So right click on that and here in IntelliJ IDEA, we have an option mark directory as test source root. So that means that any class if I create any test for any class and the, the test file will always go into this test uh, test folder now let's create a new class let's right click on a source package and I'm going to say unit test one let's click OK and now in this class I'm going to create a method what I'm going to test I'm going to use the same method what I've been showing you in the video of IntelliJ IDEA. So not IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse and NetBeans. So we can just uh, use the simple method to demonstrate what's going on. So let's start public. Int is a return type. Method name is going to be return add number. Pass in two variables A, B, and then we just return A plus B. Okay, this is going to return the add. Um, this is going to add two numbers and return the result. Now we got that. I'm going to save this file. Now to create a test file for this matter or for this class in IntelliJ IDEA, you go to your class declaration on the top, click on your class name. All right, and then I'm going to want you to press Alt Enter, and then you have four options here: create test, create subclass, add Java Docs, and uh, make package private we are going to create a test so let's click on create test and you get this dialog box here so in this dialog box first of all you need to select the testing library right now it's set on to groovy j unit so i'm going to click here and i'm going to select j unit and next option we have j unit library not found in a module we can fix that by just clicking on this fix button and then i'm going to select use JUnit from IntelliJ IDEA distribution and let's click OK and next we are going to uh, leave everything default uh, that, that's a generate option set uh, up and tear down so before and after annotation I've already explained what are they in Java so check out that video if you want to learn about these and now we are going to click OK all right, so we have another class here. I'm going to get rid of the comments. Now we need to create a method for a testing. So you start your method with the test annotation. So you annotate your method with a test. Next we type the method public wide. We can say test. And then in that method, which is a test method, I'm going to create an object from unit test one class. Now unit test one class you can name the object test is equal to new unit test one class and now let's create a new variable int variable let's just uh, name it result is equal to i'm going to use the test object what i just created and press dot and then you can access that method which is available in unit test one dot java class let's use that method so in that method we need two numbers int a int b so int a would be five and then add comma and it would 
int b let's give it two all right and then add a semicolon now we can test this uh we can test with the assert keyword assert equal so i've done a video on uh, different kinds of assert method available in java uh j unit sorry j unit testing framework so if i click here you see that it's been added to a library now let's use that i'm going to type assert equals if I just remove the E, you can see we have different methods here. Array equals, we have the not equal, and we have not null, not same. So as the name suggests, these are very simple. You can just click on them and read about them, what they do, what they check. So in this tutorial, we will use equals. And this method expecting two values now. The expected value and the actual value. So what is the expected value? Well, it's up to us to define that, what we are expecting from that method. So the actual value would be seven here. As you can see that we added two numbers here, five and two, which add up to seven, and we store the, that result into this result variable, right? And then here I'm going to pass in the actual value, I'm going to toss in seven, and then type comma, and then actual value. So actual value is stored in a result variable, so I can just type simply result here. And then we are going to run this. So how do we run the test in IntelliJ IDEA? The very simple way to run the test, you see this play button here, because you annotate this method as a test method, so you can see the play button next to it. So if I click on that play button, and I have this run test option, I can select that, and the shortcut key for that control shift f10 let's run it and now let's see if this pass okay so we have this uh, new window open at the bottom so it's saying that test pass without any errors so as you see the green ok button now what if i change the expected value to five and i know that and you guys watching know that this is not expected value this is not actual value so now if we run the test run it and we should get an error oops we got an error and if i click on that it's gonna tell me what's the error so it's telling me that assertion error expected five but the actual value was seven so our test class and our test method is working properly one more thing i want to mention here that you can run multiple tests in one class in one test class so if we change that to let's say uh make it seven back if we go back to in testing one dot java class i'm going to create another public method and string as a result type add string we name that method and then we can say string a c string d we can say return c plus d which is going to concatenate now we have another method right but we can go back to this unit test test class and then i can just uh, annotate another method starting from test annotation public void and test string and then here we can create another object we can say test one is equal to new unit test and then i'm going to store the result in result two is equal to we could use the object test two dot and then i'm gonna call that add string method let's add that now we need to pass into string so i'm gonna type my name a always and uh mirza okay now we're expecting a base mirza as a name from this variable now we can test that as well we're getting an error because this is not an int it's a string so make sure we got the right data type as well and uh, now let's use the assert equals again what is the expected value I can say always comma and actual value is result 2 and now let's run the test 
I'm going to run this test and it should give me an error so we got an error there so uh, what I'm going to do here I'm going to change this to expected always okay we need to uh, add a string not a number or any random text now if we run this test <clears throat> excuse me and now we get an error because it's telling me that expected always but it's always Mirza so if we change that to Mirza and then we run all the tests so run this test and this is passing and we can run this test and this is passing as well so you can run multiple tests in one test file right so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i'm um, working very hard so make sure you subscribe and if you like this uh, information then uh, you can share it to your friends who are students or learning JUnit or learning java i've done um, different kinds of uh, java based tutorials as well such as creating media player notepad application text editor even a fax machine in java so check them out i'll drop through video link in the description so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video chase